Hi, and in this video, I'm gonna share seven signs a man is catching feelings for you. Hi ladies, Matt Shaper, your empowerment connection and relationship coach. I'm a former attorney who's committed his life to supporting you and creating the sort of fun, fulfilling, dynamic connections and relationships with men that you are so worthy of. And this is one of my favorite topics to talk about, this infallible signs, indicators that a man is developing deep feelings for you. He's developing attachment. He's developing love for you. We're gonna dive into that, but before we do, take a second, hit that little subscribe button. Don't forget to click the little bell to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video and be sure to click that link in the comments and caption. I have created some great training that's gonna make a huge difference in your connections and relationships with men. And ladies, don't forget to sound off in the comments below. Let me know what have been your clearest indicators that a man is into you, right? That a man is catching feelings. I'd love for you to share some of your own. Maybe let me know some that I didn't cover. That's super fun and I love the conversation that happens down in the comments. So without further ado, let's dive into how men develop feelings and what it looks like. Now, men often describe falling in love as catching feelings because for a lot of men, I know for myself included, it can feel kind of elusive to develop deep feelings for a partner, for a woman in our lives, right? Our walls are up, we don't have a lot of emotional agency, and a lot of times we get caught up in just physical interaction, and it can be hard for us to develop that deep emotional connection with someone. So when we do, it's sort of like we've caught something rare and elusive and amazing. So know that if a man is showing you any one of these seven signs, he's really excited, right? He's really excited and you are at the top of his mind. You are a priority to him. That's gonna be a theme of all these tips. So let's dive in. And the first sign that a man is catching feelings for you is he is your biggest cheerleader. And what do I mean by that? I mean that he is intensely curious, right, around whatever it is that you're passionate about, and he wants to support you in that. Whatever it is, whether it be sports, or your work, or your hobbies, he's all, he's got your back. He's got your back, he's all in, and he's willing to do whatever it takes to help you move forward in whatever is important to you. Now, a great example of this in my own life is my girlfriend is very passionate about her sewing. She's a brilliant artist and she does wonderful work with different fabrics and this beautiful sewing machine that she's got. So I'm 100% behind her in this and I actually uh, invited her, I, I said, let's do an, account an accountability group for each other where I can help hold her accountable and support her in setting aside time for her sewing and she can help hold me accountable to get back into a hobby that I'm really passionate about wood carving. Yes, believe it or not, <laughs> I love wood carving. Look at this beautiful family portrait that I created. So ladies, if he is asking questions about your hobbies, about your passions, about your interests, and he's volunteering to support you in any way, he wants to go work your booth at the farmer's market with you, he wants to go to your recreational volleyball games, whatever it is, it's a sign that he is most definitely catching feelings for you. And the second sign a man has fallen in love with you is that he uses consistent, connected, nonverbal communication. And this can look a lot of different ways. First off, it generally means he's going to be open body when y'all are together, meaning he's not gonna be closed off. He's not gonna be turned to the side when he's around you. He's gonna be full on facing you like this and he's gonna use sustained eye contact. So he's not gonna be afraid to look you in the eye when he's speaking to you and when you're speaking to him, he's gonna be very present to you. And so when the two of you lock gaze, he's not gonna look away because he is activated and inspired by the connection that the two of you are sharing. Another important way to indicate this nonverbal interest is through casual physical contact. He's going to want to be just casually touching you, putting his hand on your waist, you know, resting his hand against your hand while you're sitting at a table, right? And you're gonna just feel him leaning in, like he wants to be closer to you, he wants to be in your space, sort of like you're this campfire that he can't help but wanting to warm his hands and warm his body against. If you feel these sort of consistent, connected, nonverbal indicators, chances are, He's extremely interested in you and he's developing feelings for you. Now the third sign is he checks in with you often. And this is a huge indicator that you are top of mind for him and that you're a priority in his life and in his heart. 
And what does this look like? This looks like him asking you questions throughout the day, wondering how your work is going, right? Checking in that way, giving you an update on what's going on in his life because he knows that you wanna hear about that or he just wants to share that with you, right? Remember, all men are little boys. So when a man is sharing things with you in an enthusiastic way, in a childlike way about maybe a big victory he had at work or something that happened in his life, it's because he wants to share fun stuff with you to make you happy, right? It's like a little boy coming home and wanting to present you with something that he found that's exciting to him. It could also look like sharing funny memes or videos that he found online, something that reminds him of you, something that reminds him of your sense of humor or of an experience y'all shared together. I do this all the time with my girlfriend. If I see a picture that reminds me of her or an experience we shared, I'll send it to her and then we get to have a beautiful little moment around that. And so if a man is doing anything like that to you, on a consistent ongoing basis, it means that you're top of mind and you're in his heart. And the key word here is consistency, right? If a man's doing this regularly, it's a perfect indicator. Like don't just assume because he did it once that he's all in, but any amount of times that he does it is great. But look for that consistency. And the fourth sign a man is catching feelings is that he sees you as his partner in shine. <laughs> That's a little different from what I'm sure a lot of you have heard, which is a partner in crime, right? Which when someone is your partner in crime basically means you got their back no matter what happens. Well, this is different. When you're a partner in shine, it means that he sees you as his equal. He sees you as his partner and he wants to elevate you so that the two of you can both shine your light as brightly as as possible. So when a man sees you as his partner in shine, it means he wants to hear about your good days and your bad days because he wants to celebrate the good days with you and then also support you when you have bad ones to help you make feel better. He's also going to open up to you about what he's going through, right? His victories and his hardships because he knows he can trust you and that you're an emotional sanctuary for him. And when a man sees you as his partner in shine, he's gonna feel empowered by your relationship and inspired by your relationship to play a bigger game and take bigger risks in his own personal and professional life because he knows that you're there alongside him. He knows that you have his back no matter what and that you're his number one support. And because he's got that support, he can go out there and really go for it in his life. And this is a huge factor in my own life. My relationship with my girlfriend really inspires me to feel unstoppable in my work. I have way less anxiety and fear in all aspects of my life because I know that she's got my back. So things I used to have resistance to in my work, I don't have nearly as much anymore. And that's a beautiful byproduct of having a partner in shine. So if a man is showing up and he's being courageous and he's letting you know how empowered he feels when he's around you and how it's inspiring him to take big leaps in his own life, chances are you he is really catching feelings for you. And the fifth sign a man is falling in love is he is excited to meet your people. And this can be anybody. I mean friends, I mean family, coworkers, neighbors. If it's a person that's important to you, it's a person that's important to him. And he's going to want to meet him and he's going to want to ask questions about them. And he wants to meet your people for three very important reasons. Number one, he knows it's going to help him integrate deeper into your life, which is very important to him. Two, it's gonna help him understand you better. I know in my own experience, I'm so excited to meet more members of my girlfriend's family and her inner circle because I know with every person that I meet from her life, it's gonna help me understand her on a deeper level. And third reason that he's gonna be excited to meet your people is because he knows it's gonna make you happy. And when a man is emotionally invested in you, when he's activated and inspired by you, making you happy is a huge priority for him. And the sixth sign a man is catching feelings for you is that he isn't solely focused and isn't trying to rush physical intimacy. And this is a big one because we all know for a lot of men, you know, there's a mad dash, right, to sex. You know, if you get past that initial push and a man truly starts developing deeper feelings for you, he's starting to see and understand and appreciate you in a deeper way. And he's not just trying to rush to the finish line anymore. He actually wants to enjoy the journey. So what does this look like? He may wait longer to initiate physical intimacy and dates or to escalate physical intimacy. Like he might just be totally happy kissing you and making out with you for hours, right? Without wanting to, you know, take things to another level. 
And conversations in texting might become less sexual and less about just wanting to see your body or to talk about physical stuff and more just about funny stuff or emotional things or experiences that y'all have shared together. And if he's in this space, his compliments to you are gonna be less focused on just your physical beauty or your body and more about aspects of your personality, like maybe your quirkiness or your sense of humor. Basically, if he's in this emotionally attached space, he's no longer just trying to leap across the finish line, he's truly committed to just enjoying the journey with you, enjoying the courtship, and just savoring each step on that path. And the seventh and maybe the most important sign that a man is catching feelings for you is that he cannot wait to share you with his world. He is excited to share you with his friends and his family and the people that are important to him. He's looking forward to introducing you to those people. He isn't afraid to share you on social media, to talk about you, to mention you, right? And I mean, this is a huge thing for me because I oftentimes in my life and past relationships where I haven't been as emotionally activated, I've had a lot of resistance around sharing a woman that I've been dating with my friends and family because it just didn't feel 100% authentic. But in my current relationship, I'll be honest with you, after my first date with my current girlfriend, I texted my parents and I told them, I'm declaring right now, I'm declaring that I want to claim this woman, you know? And I let them know that I had had a wonderful date with this extremely amazing woman and that I knew that I wanted to claim her after the first date. And that's something that is uncharacteristic for me because I was catching feelings in a different way than I had in many of my past relationships. So if a man is talking about how much he's looking forward to introducing you to the people in his life, he's making plans, he's future building with you, coordinating and setting things up, or he's not afraid to talk to his parents or FaceTime them with you when, uh, when you're around, that is a huge, probably the biggest sign that he's catching feelings feelings for you and he's getting emotionally invested in you. So enjoy that if he's doing that. So ladies, if a man is exhibiting any one or more of these signs consistently over time, chances are he's getting emotionally invested in you, he's falling in love, and he is catching feelings. And to recap, that first sign is he is your biggest cheerleader. He is interested in what you're passionate about and he wants to support you in it in any way that he can. And number two, he uses consistent, connected, nonverbal communication. He is always demonstrating that he is open to connect with you. He's using sustained eye contact. He's engaging in casual physical connection with you. And he's constantly leaning in because you are that warm campfire that he cannot be too close to. And number three, he checks in with you often. He is texting you throughout the day. He's asking you how you're doing. He's giving you updates on how he's doing. You know, and it doesn't have to be every hour. It doesn't have to be crazy, but just a couple times during the day, you're gonna get a little message from him. And, or maybe a funny meme or a video that he found on YouTube. Just anything like that is gonna demonstrate that you're in his mind and in his heart. And number four, he sees you as his partner in shine. You are not his partner in crime. You are not helping him bury bodies. That is not what this is about. This is about you two helping each other shine your light in the deepest possible way. And he sees you as his equal. He sees you as his partner. He sees you as his queen. And he wants to have you on that journey to help both of you shine your lights as brightly as possible. And number five is he's excited to meet your people. He is ecstatic to connect with your friends, your family, your coworkers, anyone who's important to you is important to him. And he's curious about them and he is looking forward to meeting them and building relationships with them because as he does that, he's gonna get to know you better. He's gonna get to integrate with you more, integrate deeper into your life and he knows it's gonna make you happy. And the sixth sign is he isn't solely focused on and doesn't wanna rush physical intimacy. He's no longer a sex crazed gorilla. <laughs> he has taken his foot off the gas and he's really truly seeing and appreciating you at a deeper level. So the text might be a little less, you know, sexual or explicit. He's complimenting you on dimensions and aspects of your personality or deeper elements of who you are. And he's not like trying to rush and escalate physical intimacy when y'all are out, right? He'll kiss you for hours. He'll look into your eyes. It's not just a race to the finish line. And that seventh sign is he wants to share you with his world. 
his friends, his family. He's talking to the people in his life about you. He's letting them know. He's declaring that he wants to claim you like I did with my girlfriend, right? He he doesn't, he's not hesitating or resistant to sharing you on his social media, sharing you out into the public sphere with the people around him, right? This is a man who is proud of you. He's proud of being with you and he wants to let everybody know, hey, this is my woman. This is the woman that I am falling for. This is my partner, and I want everyone to know about it. So I hope that you enjoyed these seven tips, and I hope this inspires you and gives you some comfort and security around, you know, whether a man is falling for you or not. Because here's the thing, ladies, if he isn't falling for you, it's also really important to know that, right? Because we do not want to be spending our time and energy just wasting it on a guy who's just not willing to meet us where we're at emotionally. Am I right? So get out there, ladies, and use these tips to help vet men and understand who's an activated emotional partner who's worthy of your time and attention, right? But before you do that, take a second, hit that little subscribe button and click that little bell. And don't forget to click that link in the comments and caption. I have created some great training that's gonna make a huge difference in your connections and relationships with men. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.